and welcome to another episode of Shady Grove Tabletop. You know, I'm really enjoying these tabletops. They're yeah. awesome. Too. I love us all getting together yeah, and, and, and talking about the Lord and about everything He's done for us. Yeah. Look at all the things He's done for us. Amen. I could sit here all day long and just tell y'all the good things God has done in my life. Amen. Amen. We all can. Yes. Sure. You know, when I think about just the fact that he saved my soul from hell, I mean, that's right there. That's a biggie right there, right? Yeah, that's right. But you know, um, God is a God that wanted a family. And so he had to win his his mankind back. He had to buy his creation back. The word says that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believed in him would not perish, but have everlasting life. Because he loved his creation so. You see, God is a father. And he loves each and every one of his children. And you know, today is a family day. Today we're going to, to meet with uh, our, our sister Connie Dennis and uh, her son Brandon Dennis. And, and we're going to talk about family a little bit. You know, last night, and let me do this because if not, I'll interrupt <laughs> when I shouldn't. Let me introduce you to my family sitting here. This is my mother, Nan Ruby White, and she is sister, Nan Ruby White. Amen. This is my pastor, Lisa Hayes, my friend, Donna G. Holcomb, hey. and my friend, Connie Dennis. That's and my friend and uh, part time son. Brandon Dennis. Yeah, man. I've loved him many years. He was part of my class when he was just a young Aww. boy. And uh, we were called MDMs. Yes. My son came up with that name, so I can say that. Okay. He, we, we were modern day Moses. Yes. Oh, that's that's we were here to make a way for the, another generation. That's right. That's that's right. right. But anyway, um, I had many children in there that I loved, and we really had a good time together. Oh, that's wonderful. And it's so wonderful that Brandon's here with us. I wish you know? yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I was listening to Brother Copeland talk. Did y'all watch the Southwest <laughs> Believers Convention? I saw some of it, yeah. A little bit. I recorded it so I can go back and watch it, the that's ones good. that I didn't get to see. Right. And our mother and Donna Jean were talking earlier about how when they were young, they didn't have air conditioning. We didn't either. I can remember the fan being in the wind and holding the curtain out <laughs> so that the wind would blow yeah. underneath that curtain. Yeah. But I was listening to Brother Copeland talk last night. You know, Brother Copeland's 86 now. Yes. Wow. I love him as much today as I did the first time I ever heard him. But he was talking about when he was a little boy, he said that uh, he was an only child because you'd have to go back. I won't take the time to do that. But he was an only child. And he said in the summertime, his parents kept mattresses out in the barn. And in, uh, they would, when it got real hot, they would pull those out and sleep under the pecan tree. Wow. And he said it was so cool under that pecan tree yeah. and that wind blowing. And, you know, and I was sitting there listening to him, and I thought, what wonderful memories he has oh, yes. of his family. Yes. And so today, you know, uh, last time, if you'll remember, Connie was teaching on Abraham and Isaac, which is a father and son. Right. And uh, she's going to finish up that story today for us, and we're going to talk about a few more things. But right now, I'm going to turn it over to Connie. Well, hello. And... Glad for the opportunity to come to come this morning and finish this story. Um, it now I can tell you why it was so near and dear to my heart. Little did I know that it had a divine appointment, a divine time. I had a vision about a year ago, and the Lord allowed me to go up the mountain with Abraham and Isaac and to see everything that happened. And it was it was just so near and dear to my heart. For the opportunity to experience that because i experienced such great faith not only about abraham but of isaac he had to believe everything that his father told him mm -hmm. why probably because he had seen his father walk in it very much and not only that the morning that that this took place i was in my kitchen and i went into the courts of heaven and 
If you haven't got the book where Robert Henderson teaches about the courts of heaven, it's a powerful book. I'd encourage you to read it. But it taught me how to go in there and plead for my son's life, plead for, for his deliverance, mm. plead for everything that I pleaded for that morning. The adversary, I, I bailed him so that he could not attack my son anymore. He, I took away all legal rights. Amen. And he was apprehended and put in jail so that he couldn't affect him any longer, nor my other son. Um, but anyway, that particular morning, I was up doing that. And after I got through with that, the Lord said, okay, remember your vision. Lay your son on the altar now. Amen. Amen. Lay him on the altar of sacrifice. Give him totally to me. I surrendered it all. I said, Lord, I lay him. Who better yes. to take care of him mm -hmm. than you? That's right. I give him to you. And so Donna Jean called and she said, We got to pray. Something's going on. She said, It's not good. I don't know what it is, but something bad's going on. Mm. And so we prayed together. Now, this was all a divine appointments, but I didn't know it was for my son. And um, so I was getting ready that day to go about what I needed to do, and I got two text messages from him, and it said, help, help. But I never seen those two text messages. Mm. I wasn't supposed to at that time because he was at a point in time that he was having a discussion with God. Oh, wow. God had him. Yeah. I laid him on the altar. So um, anyway, then I got a phone call from him. He said, Mother, come get me now. I'm dying. Mm -hmm. And um, I said, what, son? I said, are you sick? Yes, just come get me now, hurry, I'm dying. And he was, wasn't he? Yes, yes. absolutely. He was. He was. He and was. if you had not heard from the Lord yeah. and y'all started interceding yeah. at the time that you did, mm -hmm. praise God. Yes. And, and so Jesus. there again, I can't, I can't stress enough that all this has a divine arrangement. A week prior to this, I seen him, the car that I had given him, it had wrecked. And I seen him in a wreck. And I knew I had to find him, but God's GPS found him. And so the Lord showed me that the, the car that I seen that was caught in the thicket, where it was at, and he couldn't be seen, all this was part of it. Right. It was not ne necessarily a car wreck. Mm -hmm. It was a wreck in the, the oh, he, right. yeah. Well, right. it was, but it was right. a show that right. there was going to be about an end to all this. Yes. And so anyway, going back to, I came and got him, and just to see him. Mm -hmm. I knew he was in trouble. And uh, he was he was angry. He didn't look like himself. I seen every spirit that he was, he was housing that day he got in the car with me. And uh, he was acting out in anger because he was in such pain and torment. Mm -hmm. And um, he said, Mother, he said, I said, we're going to the hospital. He said, no. He said, they will not help me. And I said, yes, they will. I heard from heaven. I have heard from God. They will help you. No, Mother, you don't understand. What I'm on, they're not going to help me. I need you to take me and get some of that. Mm -hmm. And so I said, no, I can't feed you that. But I can give you life. Yes. Amen. Amen. That's life. Good. And so I said, We're going to the hospital. Yes. And I knew, and he tried to jump out of the car. Mm -hmm. And it was a volatile situation, and I bound it in the name of Jesus. I knew if I could just get him yes. to the And they, they agreed they would see him, and they welcomed us with open arms. Praise they God. They were, you know, because he had a divine appointment to right. be there. Amen. He had done had a discussion with God also. So I knew everything was going to work. Well, we were in the hospital room, and I had went out to go to the restroom. So the doctor came in while I was gone, and they told him, Brandon, what we're fixing to minister to you to help you with the withdrawals. 
it could kill him. Mm -hmm. I didn't hear that call. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that call. Right. So I come back and I was sitting in the room with him. Well, somebody in withdrawals, they flip flop. They can't be still. They can't. And, and, mm -hmm. and so all of the monitors, the hat on him come off and everything. So he wasn't being monitored at that time because God had him. Amen. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I was sitting there in the chair and I was talking to him, and all of a sudden his body just got shaking really, really bad. And I uh, said, Brandon, why are you shaking? Why are you shaking? And he wouldn't answer me. And I got up and I touched him and I said, Brandon, he would. He was total irresponsible. You know, he was not respond. He was not responsive. Responsive. Yes, yeah. responsive. And so I said, Jesus. And so I took right out the room and. And I said, y'all get in here, my son, he's not responding to me at all. Mm -hmm. I said, y'all get in here, something's wrong. And so they come running in, and she, his chest had rose, and they started mashing on his chest. And and all of a sudden, his eyes opened. But Jesus, while I was in the hall praying, the Lord told me, he said, this is that time. This is that time. <laughs> the old Brandon laughed, so the new Brandon there was wow. a transfer. Mm -hmm. He said, I told you, I, Jesus was the lamb that was cut. He done paid the price for it. Yes. But in turn, when the enemy tried to take Brandon out, the new Brandon came in. Amen. 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 So there was a transfer. And here Thank it gets Jesus. today. Amen. 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 Oh, God. Praise God. Now, Praise God. Uh, what y'all may not know, Donna Jean is Brandon's aunt. Mm -hmm. And so, family. A family anointing is very strong. Amen. And so the Lord had brought him before her, before any of this had ever taken right. place. Right. He had taken you on a trip up the mountain. Yes. 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 You already knew how it was going to end. Yes. 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 Because when, when Abraham took Isaac up the mountain, Isaac knew what was happening. Um, Abraham knew what was yes. happening. Yes. They knew the outcome. Mm -hmm. That's why Isaac was not afraid to go up right. the mountain That's with his right. daddy. He wasn't afraid to be bound and laid right. down on the altar. Right. Why? Because he said, Abraham said, God will provide himself. That's yes. Right. That's right. Yes. That's right. yes. And you know, not only that, he showed me that that was the faith that I was going to have to have. Right. To get, but I didn't know it was going to be for my son. Right. Was, and, and a week prior to this incident, my pastor called me up and he looked at me and he said, I just want to tell you that every tear that suits your pillow, mm -hmm. every prayer that you pray, you're going to get a blessing. Yeah. There's That's a right. blessing coming your That's way. Right. Amen. And, it came. and I remember that Sunday because we were all here. Yes, yeah. we were. Remember, Mother? Yeah. He looked at Connie and he said, Connie, the Lord said, this is your time. Yes, yes he did. Absolutely. Yes. He did. Absolutely. Yes. And here yes. you are. Yes. <laughs> Praise God. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Well, Brandon, uh, the night that that all happened and you had a talk with, with God, are you at liberty to yeah. tell us? Yes, yeah, What were y'all discussing? Um, I, I, I've done this for 18 years. You know, stuck in my own head and my own mind. You know, and it's the first time I ever, I've asked to get clean. You know, I, I prayed about it, prayed about it, you know, but I wasn't asking God the right questions. You know, I sat in the car, I was waiting on her. And I, like I said before, I was, I was a mess, I really was. And I said, God, Lord, I just want this to be over with. I just, I just want this done. That's the only thing I said. Mm -hmm. She came and picked me up, and right after the doctor said that, Told me what he told me about the medicine. I said, God, I said, just let this be over with. My whole way of thinking was being changed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. quicker than I, you know, I could even see it for myself. Well, that's that and suddenly. Yes. 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 What is that old song? And just when you think all is lost, he reaches down his hand. Yes. Oh, Jesus. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Yes. And then what happened, Brandon? Went home. Probably. I, the Lord showed me that night. I 
started hallucinating. I started having vision. It was from had the thing coming out of my body. And the first thing I seen was my grandfather. My grandfather was the strongest, most anointed man I know. You know. And I seen him move in that room and he used to do this thing. He said, Get up, get up. Mm-hmm. You know, and I got up. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Glory to God. And then, um, so you overcome all the, uh, you didn't have any withdrawals, did you, other than that night? Yeah, it was probably three days worth of withdrawals. And then after I got home at mom's house, I, I pretty much slept it off. Praise God. Because Praise why? Everybody. Because everybody was praying for you. Yes, yes. Everybody was yes. praying for you. Miracle. And then you had a situation come up where you had to go to court. Mm-hmm. And Mother called me that morning. And uh, she said, have you been praying for Brandon yet? And I said, no, ma'am, I hadn't started yet. She said, well, I am. She had been up early that morning praying Praise for God. you. And what was it that she told you, Brandon? She's this people coming in. A man wearing blue. Mm-hmm. Sorry. <laughs> she said that uh, God would go before you, yeah. Yeah. and that you would have favor with everybody involved. Mm-hmm. And she declared that. Yes, yes. I remember. You remember yes. that? Mm-hmm. Yes. And she told me. She said, "I keep saying blue." I keep saying blue. What was it, Mother? My Lord was wearing blue that day. Praise <laughs> God. Praise God. Sure, or blue. blouse or what, but I could see. I see blue. I said, what is this blue I'm seeing? Wow. wow. We thought it was Jesus. We thought <laughs> it was Jesus. <laughs> I didn't know. You know, I thought my, my mind first went to the blue sash. You always see yeah. Jesus wearing. Yeah. Well, you know, I went down to, downstairs and I. There's a gumball machine. I thought I'd have some gumball. I didn't want to see it. Really? Yeah. And, um, right, so right. I got three for quarter, so that was it. You know, right. I, and I thought, where, where did people get three? And he picked one. What'd you pick, Brandon? Oh. You're supposed to say blue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I told him, I said, Father, son, and oh, yes. now I know why. Yeah, because he went before us. Yeah, he did. His, yeah, it, that's that right. was his um, system of government. Yeah, and everything that he was walked into that right. 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 And so he—that's why he showed. And, and he picked one. And I said, it wasn't about the one that you picked. Mm-hmm. You could have picked any of them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you would have had a win-win. Right. Oh, that's yeah. good. Yeah. That's that is good. so that good. Is good. That is good. Yes. And you know. Uh, when Mother was describing to me what she was seeing in that courtroom, I could see it. Mm. You know, it wow. was like, yeah. and so it had already went before you. Mm. The The courtroom of heaven had already yeah. decided. Yeah. 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 Because, you know, the word says we're not to plead innocent. We just plead the blood. Yeah. 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 And yeah. the blood had already been pleaded over. Yeah. Yeah. And so what was the outcome to that situation, Brandon? Uh, I bought it for about about a year thought and worried about it and I got there and they it was a felony charge I was looking at a year in prison and they dropped it (laughs) all because people were praying praise God you know nothing happens in this world unless somebody prays absolutely that's why it's so important who's over you prayer team Donna right. Jean's right. over our prayer yes, team. Amen. And you know that when you send in a prayer request, she's going to pray the word. Amen. The yes. word yes. is going to be prayed over. That's the right. blood's going to be applied. Yes. That's right. Yes. You know, when someone's hurt and they get a bruise, you know what that bruise is there for, right? The blood rushes to the yes. surface That's to right. protect that area. Yes. Mm. That's what that bruise is. Wow. It's where the blood has rushed to the surface yeah. because it's trying to to help that injured That's right. area. Right. That's exactly right. Well, when one of God's children is hurting, mm-hmm. the blood shows up, That's right. Right. Yeah, that's good. and that's the blood right. takes care of that injury. Yes. That is good. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Let me be quiet a minute because I'll get I'll start <laughs> preaching here in a minute. Y'all go ahead and ask Brandon or 
uh, whatever you want to say. Uh, Brandon, did you have any visions while you were hallucinating or anything that just triggered that moment when you knew that you were going to change? Um, yeah, I did. Uh, you know, me and my wife got separated seven years ago because of, you know, all the things we worried about going down. You know, and she she took my son because she's trying to protect him more, you know, because I, and I'm mm -hmm. glad she did. Mm -hmm. You know, but I I had a lot of dreams about me and him being back together. Praise God. And that's what's keeping me going today. Praise, Praise God. God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Yeah. And you will be. Amen. But you'll be a better dad, Amen. better man, That's right. because you're putting God first. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And it will it will happen. Amen. That's right. You Amen. just keep going ahead, putting Jesus first, Amen. and then everything else will follow. That's right. You know, I don't know how. Yes, I do know how to say it. Um, all I want to do, especially, I've always I've always wanted to serve the Lord. But this past year, it's like, that's all I want to do. Amen. That's all I want to talk yeah. about. Amen. Amen. Me and Mother get on the phone, y'all. We talk two and three hours at a time. And I promise you, most of the talk is the Word. Praise mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. Praise God. That's how you wake up yeah. quoting the 23rd. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Because it downloads in you. Right. Yeah, it downloads. Right. Yes. It's like a computer. Yes, it? absolutely. And then when you open your mouth, the word just flows that's out. That's right. And that's why you want to be in church with all the people you love because yes. that's what they love too. That's yes. right. Yes. And then we all come together and the word just, we feed on each other. What is it? Iron sharpens iron. Yes, that's right. Yes. That's right. And so now see, you're a new man. Yes. I can't, you know what, like I said, I've known since he was a little boy. How old was you, 18, 19 in my class? 17. Wow. And my son, y'all are the same age, right? You and 30, Benjamin? 32. Ben's 32. Well, Ben turned 33. Can you believe that? Yeah. Wow. July the 19th, wow. Ben turned 33. Wow. 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 Well, Ben turned 33 July 19th, and I had all these wonderful kids in my class. And they learned how to walk in the Word. Brandon knew how to walk in the Word. Plus, he had a mother at home that downloaded right. it to him night and day. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank yes. God for a praying godly mother. That's right. Yes. You know, and something else about Vanessa, we all wanted to be in her class. We don't, but we wouldn't be in her class. <laughs> Can I go to Vanessa's yeah, class? I got some bad The only Bible verse besides one my papa gave me. The only Bible verse I ever been around is from the Oh, Brandon, that Brandon. was our Bible verse. Mm -hmm. Wow. Can you quote it for me? The Bible Spirit of Life in Christ Jesus has set me free from the law of sin. You see that? You, you see that? That's yeah. why we do what we do. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, right, right there. Right. That's right. That blesses my heart. Amen. Yeah. Hey, that's wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you remember all of our lessons on eagles? Do you remember that? <laughs> you know, eagles. I get messages on eagles for months. I, I remember the eagles. You do? <laughs> she helped me remember them. Okay. Yeah. Well, oh, this has been such a blessing. Yeah. Okay. I would love to say that, you know, I remember um, at prayer meeting, we had prayed for both of your boys and uh, prayed for Brandon and prayed for Brandon. And then when he. Uh, become in trouble um, Connie you know was letting us know everything that was going on with you and we were praying but what what I mostly remember the most is the first time he came to church after that I had to do a double take yeah. because I was like is that the wrong son <laughs> because you were glowing yeah you were glowing God had delivered you yeah. and you had this glow on your face and I thought maybe it was the other son because you can tell God had done something great in you. Yes, and you can tell. Mother, yeah. what was it that you and Brandon said to each other when he came at Easter? Or was it Mother's Day? Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Day. We was outside yeah. in the parking lot. And I, he was getting in his truck over there on the other side. Remember that? Mm -hmm. And I said, Brandon, you coming back? He said, I'll be back. 
She told me that when she got in the car, it had a bite to it. Yeah. Yeah. And he said, I'll be back. Yeah. Amen. And, and he was. He was putting Amen. the jacket on. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, this has been good. So good. Connie, thank you for sharing that vision. Yes. With us. I, I tell you what, if you have a prodigal out there, even it doesn't have to be a prodigal, it's a promise. Have faith. God will show up. He may not have been there yet, but he'll be there right on time. Don't give up on the promise that he's promised you. That's right. That's right. And we are promised all of our loved ones. Yes, we are. He says, the word says he will adorn us with them. That's right. Like jewelry. That's right. They'll be draped on us. Well, Connie, have you got a scripture for us? Yes, I do. And my son wanted to read it. All right. I'm going to let him read it. John 8, 36. If the Son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. That's right. Amen. 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 That's right. And you know what, Brandon? The more truth you know, the more power you're going to walk That's in. That's right. Amen. 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 We all do, don't we? Yes, we do. Now, Brandon, you're going to be ministering uh, one of these days. We'll make the announcement when the day Absolutely. is decided. But you're going to give your testimony here, aren't you? Yes. I am. He's going to give his testimony a full account of it at Shady Grove. That's our church. That's where we go. And it's going to be a blessing to all who hear it. Amen. There's, there's those of you out there who need to hear what he's overcome. Yes. What yes. the Lord has brought him through, where he's walked from and where he's walked to. That's right. Yeah. So, and today we would like to give everyone an opportunity who's out there who is not, maybe you have accepted Jesus as your Lord and you've walked away. Or, or you know, all you've got to do is pick up your cross and come, mm -hmm. come back. And what I mean by that is you just say, Lord, I, I sinned, I messed up. That's right. Forgive me. Cleanse me with the blood of Jesus. Yes, absolutely. And walk back into That's the right. Amen. And then there may be those of you who have never asked Jesus to come into your heart. Mm -hmm. We're going to give you that opportunity Amen. today. Yes. And so, as I pray this, y'all repeat after yes. me. Yes. Father, Father, I come to you today. I come to you today. I confess my sins. I confess my sins. I believe. I believe that Jesus died on the cross that for me. Jesus died on the cross for me. That He is your Son. That He is your Son. He went to hell. He went to hell. So I wouldn't have to. So I wouldn't have to. He rose again. He rose again. And now He sits at the right hand of the Father. And now He sits at the right hand of the Father. He intercedes for me. He intercedes for me. So today I ask you. So today I ask you. Cleanse me with His blood. Cleanse me with His blood. Become the Lord of my life. Become the Lord of my life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So if you've done that, you are now part of our family. Absolutely. Yes. Welcome. Welcome to the family. Yes. Well, it's been an honor today to be here with y'all. And Mother, how do we go out of here? Well, we say God is in me, God is for me, and God is with me. Amen. 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 Well, until next time, you've been with Shady Grove Table Talk. Bye. Bye-bye.